and uh, we've been talking about it all morning and essentially uh, it's a competition that's been put in play by the National Library of South Africa working with the Department of Arts and Culture as well as Department of Correctional Services and uh, they're working together to try and get people to uh, read more and enjoy reading. Uh, it makes a huge difference uh, to uh, uh, many young people's lives and some of us who are much older now, it's never too late to pick up a book and uh, start getting that culture of reading inculcated into one's life. Now, the National Library of South Africa has a CEO and a national librarian and uh, she's with me now to talk to us a little bit about uh, libraries, uh, library science and also this competition. And it's a great pleasure to, to welcome Professor Rocky Ralebipi Simela. Thank you very much indeed and welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much and good morning. All right, so this is a big event for you. I mean, it falls under the auspices of the National Library of South Africa. Um, one of your flagship programs in terms of trying to get people to learn to read. Why is that important to you? It is so critical for nations to be reading nations because I believe that a reading nation is a striving nation, is a winning nation. When people read, they discover themselves. They discover their communities, they discover and they can play very important roles as citizens in the development of their countries. So when we don't read, we cannot become part of this larger world, this larger society. We cannot develop ourselves, we cannot be dependent on ourselves. We will always be beggars, we will always be going somewhere else to ask for somebody for help. If we read, we open our minds. The world becomes such a big, big place for us, an exciting place, and there are possibilities, and that is why we're here. All right, so tell us about, hey, why don't we read, and what needs to be done, do you think, to, to, to change our mindset? Yes. Um, South Africans don't read, and uh, there are, you know, historical reasons why they do not read. Uh, the majority of us do not read. As we speak, um, very few, very few homes have books in their homes. And so the parents are not even used to reading to their children because that's exactly where it needs to start. Uh, so the book has not been part of our DNA. The libraries have not been part of the South African psyche. Uh, and I said because of historical reasons where South Africans were not, uh, most black South Africans were not allowed to go into these institutions. If you remember way back when um, the apartheid system introduced the uh, Bantu education, there was a fear that if we read, if we discovered you know, knowledge, if we're knowledgeable, we could be clever blacks and we would, we would become problematic, <laughs> you know? So they hid, they, they hid the book from us. And that was the best way of really getting us to be, you know, sort of, if you will, we see a very small world. We see no possibilities about our lives. But once your mind opens up and you can understand the world, you can see the world, you can travel the world, you see how other people experience their own lives, there is so much fun in reading. You get educated, you get, you know, the possibilities of getting employment and really just, you know, living your life to the best. So... Or as the national librarian, the libraries across the country are, are your responsibility. What is the state of our libraries and do we have people becoming librarians? Uh, the state of our libraries is very exciting and very promising. Um, Ten years ago, we didn't have as many libraries as we do in South Africa today. As I speak, in the nine provinces, they, through the, uh, what we call the conditional grant, coming from Treasury, we have been able to build physically public libraries, and community libraries in communities. And we, we're not just you know, providing the structures, we are providing even the internet uh, for free, Wi-Fi for free, so people can educate themselves, they, they can have access to information about their education, about their health, about other countries, you know, and it's something that we are encouraging people to, to do. Go in there, use these resources, read. You don't even have to pay anything to go into a library and use the resources. You know, support your education. So, yes, we are still a long way from providing a library services to everybody and I don't mean in terms of physical terms but virtual access 
to, 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 to redeem materials, virtual access to, uh, to all of these resources. We are still a long way, but we're getting there. At least the government is committed to helping us get there. And yes, the library schools are producing librarians who, for the most part, because of the technology, they prefer to work you know, in ICT. But they are librarians who are really committed and willing to work in these libraries. So far we've spoken quite a bit about uh, the inmates at the Department of Correctional Services and the benefits of uh, Fundam Zanzi. What about learners, uh, children at high school? Um, how has this competition benefited them? Uh, when we started this program seven years ago, actually the majority of the participants were students, were learners, not just from high school, but also from universities. Um, now, since we have started this uh, collaboration with the Correctional Services, Department of Correctional Services, we have expanded our book clubs, not just from schools, but from correctional services also. So they are benefiting, but only a few schools are participating. And we would like to see the entire South Africa really participating in this. So we are coming to communities, <laughs> to encourage them to participate, because everybody really it needs to read. Important. Even the Magogos and the Opas need to really get a book in their hands, read to the children, read with the children, and become part of this really reading festival. All right, and so that's where we're going to have to leave it. Professor Rocky Ralebipi Simela, thank you so much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us, and good luck with this year's competition. Thank you very much, and thank you for you know, SABC for being here. Uh, we we love it. We love it. Okay, so uh, the competition starts today. It's going to run for three days. It's in George. And uh, after the break, we're going to be chatting to uh, an inmate uh, from the Department of Correctional Services. He's now been released. I think he's been out since August. And he's even written a book and started his own book club. And we'll find out about his journey. All of that coming up after this break. Stay with us.